Hey, I'm Tyler. Today we got part two. We're installing the stereo on my Tundra. Let's get right at it. We're going to start with disconnecting the positive lead. We're going to start with disconnecting the positive lead of the battery and then move on to the interior. We get to start with these three screws right here. Uh, we just, these just knobs just all pull straight out. Three Phillips screws. Let's get those out. Next, we've got these two hidden Phillips screws. One right here, this AC vent, and one right here on this AC vent. So let's go ahead and get those out. Now we're just gonna try and uh, just pry out behind here. And this should come out. Get your fingers behind it. Get perfect. Comes out nice and easy. No need to really go at it too hard. We got four 10 millimeter screws keeping the stereo in there. And so to get the factory stereo out, all we had to do is disconnect this harness and this antenna uh, once we had the screws off. Here's my actual stereo box that came in here. This is the stereo that Crutchfield said would fit and I went with Kenwood. DPX 59 4BT. I've had DPX 50 series before, DPX 500 series before, they've done fine. So uh, let's get going. So for stereo install, all we're dealing with here is this is what comes with the stereo that goes in there. Your mic's going to go in here. And then I ordered the harnesses that go with this installation from Crutchfield, and these will plug in to the factory wiring, and then I'll connect them to the stereo, wire to wire, there'll be a couple unused ones, but let's get started on that. See that screw right there? There's one in the same spot on this side right there. See them? Right there. Right down here. Those two screws, they're gonna look a little different than mine. They come out, and then what you're looking for is on the bottom of that, that's the factory amplifier, so on the bottom of this, um, box here you're gonna find exactly what you're looking for it's this pair of harnesses that will connect to the crutch field harnesses so what we're doing in this install is we're bypassing the factory amplifier in favor of just going straight into the wiring here so factory amplifier two screws out take the harnesses out from under here this just I just pulled it straight up and out into this recessed area right here. Um, and then you're good to go. Use these wiring harnesses and make your connections. So if you're unfamiliar with wiring basics, here's a quick start. We've got a wire stripper here. These are pre-cut, which makes it really nice. So we're just gonna color match. So I've got a yellow here. I'm gonna take the yellow on this radio harness, the black one. Nice and easy, a little cut here. I've got these universal type wiring connectors. I'm just gonna make sure that's... Okay, get that one in there. And get this one, twist it up and tight. both so they're in the metal and I usually pinch the sides first oh. just pinch the sides first here just so those wires don't back out on me and then you're gonna crush the middle here so from here we're just matching wire color to wire color and we'll keep doing that for both this harness and this one right here Crutchfield only gives you this wimpy little four pack. Um, so I bought some extra ones. Give a link to something similar in the description. It's one or two wires here that weren't straight color to color. Like this is a blue and white with a blue. So it's good to follow Crutchfield's guide here. But everything passes the tug test. So we'll just wrap it all up with some electrical tape, plug it in, and we'll be good to go. So just plug it in.
like so. Perfect. I'll bundle it up. Good to go. I'm gonna take the brackets off the factory stereo, these brackets, and put those onto your new stereo. Just like that. And so actually the best thing you can do is just plug everything in right now, make sure it works. My stereo is working really good. Um, yeah, so we're good to go. Just put her all back together. The last touch on the stereo installs this little microphone for hands-free call receiving. I just ran the wire out along back here. And then if you pull out these panels down here, uh, that will give you enough room just to run the wire out here, down right here. That's supposed to be tucked in. Yeah, down right here and back up into the eventual back of the stereo. Um, and that, that's pretty painless. I think I might have removed, yeah, I removed this bolt down here, but that's it. Just pop the panel loose with that panel puller and then you'll get it right to the back of the stereo there. So it pops on here. Um, fairly, you know, just super easy to work with. Um, I usually plug in my phone, but the Bluetooth works fine too. And I think as a whole, it fits the interior look pretty good. So here's the final product on this Kenwood stereo. As you can see, the fitment is really good. Um, really no complaints with that. It works really well as far as I'm concerned. Aftermarket stereos sometimes kind of mess with the look of the interior, but I think this one honestly blends about as well as you can expect for an aftermarket stereo. So yeah, that's my experience with this. Overall, not a complicated process and the finished result. Now I can plug my phone in and listen to music through there. Uh, I don't have to deal with the radio if I don't want to, so much better overall driving and listening experience.